What's up guys, this game here is Military Tycoon. This game was featured during the 24k golden event and I thought it was quite interesting. So I decided to give this game a try. I ended up speedrunning it and completing the game. Disclaimer here, I did use a private server. The private server is really cheap, only 100 robux per month, which I only need 2 days at most. You might be thinking why do we need a private server when we still earn money regardless of whether we engage in PvP or not. The reason is simple and I will explain later. After playing this game for a while, I realized that the gameplay is quite short. So once you finish building everything, you will rebirth to be able to build more advanced stuff. You need 12 rebirths to purchase everything as of the time of playing. So I consider the game to be completed at the end of the 12th rebirth when I have bought everything, at least for now. I only took one and a half days to complete the game and it was a casual gameplay pace. If I wanted to rush through the game, I would have completed it in a day. Yes, 12 rebirths in a day. How do we do that? Let's talk about the money first. If you are somewhere between 1 to 3 rebirths, you will need about 2 million dollars to rebirth. That's really not a lot, probably half an hour per rebirth. As you progress from 4 to 7 rebirths, the money needed per rebirth will also rise sharply from 2 million dollars to 5 million dollars. From 7 to 9 rebirth, it stays pretty consistent at slightly more than 5 million dollars. When you reach 10 and 11 rebirths, you will need about 6 million dollars. At 12 rebirth, you will need 7 million dollars to complete all the purchase. By the way, rebirth will remove all your money and restart your base progress. So do not overfarm the money. Now you know the amount of money needed, how to get more money? This is a tycoon game. You get money as time passes. These workers here earn money as they shoot on the board. You want to spend all the money to quickly buy all the workers. You can get them very early in the game, buy the 5 at the first store, 6 outside, and 5 on the second floor. If you already have 1 rebirth, there are another 5 in the bunker. I also want to show you the sequence to buy the workers. Get all the starter workers on the first floor. Buy the walls so that you can buy the second floor. Head outside and buy the workers. You do not need to build the walls and roofs for them. Buy the workers on the second floor. You can buy the bunker once you bought all the workers at the second floor. Buy the bunker. Purchase all the workers in the bunker. Please consider subscribing and like this video if it had helped you. I really appreciate it. The slowest part of the game is at the start, but you need to grind for all the workers when you have no workers. How can we do that quickly? This is when you need the private server. Capture all the fortresses and the oil rigs. The central island does not give you any money in private server, so you can just ignore it. This will give you $28,000 every now and then. You may think that $28,000 isn't a lot. You are right when you have already bought all the workers. But at the start, $28,000 periodically will help me get all my workers in just about 5 to 10 minutes. And from there, your workers will do all the work private server ensures nobody captures your fortresses and oil rigs. Best of all, rebirth does not reset your conquers. $28,000 when you have nothing is a lot. To be fair, pretty much nobody captures anything in public server as well. Yes, yeah, sure there will be a few that will try and capture fortresses and oil rigs, but I do not experience a lot of them. In summary, get a private server, capture the fortresses and oil rigs. Get all your workers, let them do all the heavy farming for about half an hour to an hour. Rebirth, let the oil rigs and fortresses earn money for you again. Buy all the workers, rinse and repeat. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.